morning YouTube. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to keep it quiet because it's still really, really early. And I'm trying to find some good lighting here, but it's proving a little bit impossible. Um, it's literally so pitch dark outside. It is six o'clock in the morning. And no, I have not just rolled out of bed, even though I may look like it. I'm actually already after taking off 4,000 steps outside in the pitch dark. And I've just come back home. I've made myself a coffee, which I'm going to bring to my desk in the office. And I'm going to get cracking on some Saturday check-ins. Saturday is the busiest day when it comes to check-ins. So I need to get a head start on them. I know it's super dark. I'm really sorry. They're, that's all I'm working with here at the moment. Until it gets a bit brighter and everybody in the house wakes up. Um, so, so yeah, so that's the plan. I'm going to go do a bit of work. And then I will come back and meet you for meal one today. Because we're going to do a full day of eating. So today is a high day. It's a leg day, so my leg days are higher days when it comes to food, obviously just to fuel those sessions. Um, so I will show you exactly what I'm eating in my off season to build a bit of muscle. So I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I definitely post a bit more frequently than here. And, and yeah, I'll catch you at meal one. Okay, so an hour has passed. I'm a little bit into my check-ins and it is time to eat meal one. It's seven o'clock nearly. So I do aim to eat around seven on a day off. I usually eat at six o'clock in the morning during the week before I head to work. Um, but today, obviously, we have a bit more time to play with. Um, so we're gonna make meal one. So as I said, today is a high day. So a lot more carbs going in today to fuel that leg session that I have. So meal one, I'm gonna break it down and then I'm going to show you. It's 30 grams of oats. Um, 300 grams of yogurt, but I'm only going to have 200 grams because I'm going to save the other 100 for something else later. Um, 200 grams of strawberries, very precisely, strawberries, no other berries, and 10 grams of dark chocolate. Now, I do struggle with the volume of this meal. I've said in my last video, um, just talking about my food in general, where I can eat a lot. I love food. I can eat a lot, but high days do sometimes defeat me, especially breakfast because so much yogurt and oats is just very dense. So what I've been doing is I weighed out my 30 grams of oats, put boiling water over them, but not too much as to where they go super fluffy and let it sit for a while and then put it in the air fryer. So it makes like a base and then the yogurt and the berries will just go on top. Usually it doesn't actually fit into this. So I have a bit of yogurt on the side with all my berries, um, but it's kind of, kind of like a cheesecake when you, when you think about it. And with the chocolate then, I kind of do two options. So I actually use 70% um, salted caramel because it's my favorite. I'm not the biggest fan of 85%. I know in prep, I have to use it and I do. But when I'm in my off season, I just kind of allow myself that little bit more of flexibility and I just go with 70% dark chocolate. And then with the strawberries, what I do, since it's 200 grams, it's a lot. Obviously, fresh fruit is very, very expensive here um in ireland so i kind of alternate between frozen and fresh so for this meal i usually go half and half i'll go half frozen and half half fresh that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop this back in the air fryer because i made this last night i'm gonna pop it back into the air fryer so it warms up again and crisps up at the top i'm gonna weigh out my yogurt i'm gonna weigh out my berries and i'll probably just show you the finished product because it really isn't that difficult to make because i just like to get stuck into check-ins as quick as i can in the morning make sure all my clients literally have their replies for me before they a lot of them before they even wake up maybe apart from like two clients that work ridiculous hours on a saturday even kind of like me but i like to get like the first block of check-ins done before nine o'clock in the morning obviously then whoever sends in their check-ins late gets a later reply for me usually towards the afternoon when I'm back from the gym um, but that's kind of how I operate you know this sport is expensive in itself and I will I refuse to spend like 50 or a week on just berries so I've been I've been on the Tesco hype I know I look a bit rough this morning as well but I'm really tired this week and um, I will probably talk about like my kind of schedule during the day like I'm up very early every morning I'm up at like 20 past 4 to be exact every morning to, to take off the steps before I go to work and obviously my days are long so I'm gonna heat up the frozen strawberries 
put the meal together and kind of share the finished product and I will not be taking the meal to my desk I am going to eat in the living room watch a bit of Bridgerton and that's just something I try not to do I try not to bring my meals to my work desk even though I'm very tempted to do so um, just so I can be more optimal at work but I can't focus on two things at once I can't focus on clients and I can't focus on eating at the same time without either compromising the work or compromising my digestion because I'm either eating too quick or I'm not just paying attention to it so I like to be present when I eat my meals you know just focus on the meal maybe watch something for a bit of background noise eat in a relaxed state which is really really important to avoid any digestive issues and and then get back to work so that's what we're gonna do so I will catch you in like two minutes got our oats we got our yogurt berries and dark chocolate on top and then the rest of the frozen strawberries i'm probably just gonna have on the side because it will not fit in this so as i said even though i tried to make it not too voluminous it's literally impossible um so it's just the volume of fruit in these meals you'll see a pattern of this throughout the day today but i mean i love it i love it but it is a big big adjustment but i will talk about why how what for and all of that later on in the video because I just need to get this meal in and get back to work so the next time you'll see me I will probably be having my pre-workout meal or or doing a bit of meal prep I'll see we'll see how the day goes you know when your boyfriend's absolutely diss your show why are you watching my show without me <laughs> quote it's actually a good show he says to be honest, I was very, like, I didn't want to watch Bridgerton at all. I saw the trailer and I was like, no, that doesn't look good at all. But, like, everybody was raving about it. And then I was like, I'll watch an episode and now I'm hooked. It's because she's so used to watching crap. Um, but, yeah, breakfast is down. It actually went down a treat. Oh, look at the sun coming out. Uh, it actually went down a treat, to be honest. Anyway, breakfast is down. Time to take my morning subs, which I will not be bringing you through because I do want to do a whole video on my supplementation because that will be a whole video in itself, let me tell you. Um, and yeah, I'm back to work. So I will see you in about three hours, two and a half. I'm going to do a bit of meal prep for the day and I'm going to make my pre-workout meal and I'm going to get ready for the gym. I will not be taking you to the gym today because this session, A, I just want to lock into it. And two, if I was to take you through this session on top of a full day of eating, this video would be over an hour long and I know nobody's gonna watch that. So I am planning to invest into some microphones so I can actually bring you through some proper sessions in future videos. It is half nine in the morning and check-ins for today are pretty much done apart from a couple that checked in late. Uh, anyway, I'll get them done in the afternoon. Like I said, I do when people check in late. I don't leave them hanging, but they do have to wait a little bit. Um, but so yeah, half nine in the morning, I need to prep some food for the day. Um, just because with the amount of meals I have, I have six meals, I can't be prepping every meal as I go even on a day off. So I'm going to prep a few staples that will kind of get me through the day then. And I will be just putting meals together on the go today um, with some staples already cooked. Obviously during the week, all my meals are prepped in Tupperware for the whole day. But today's a Saturday and I thought I'd actually show you my meals somewhat pretty on a plate, not just out of Tupperware. But I have been thinking I will probably take you through like a real day during the week, um, one of the days, but not today. I need to clean this window, I know. It's actually in between the two glasses, it annoys me. But I've weighed out my potatoes for tomorrow, for today, because it's a high day, so it's a different amount. Uh, I've got some veg, I've also got beans that are gonna go into the microwave. And then I already have chicken cooked, so what I do is I freeze chicken raw uh, in 600 gram bags, and then I cook that and last me about three days, more or less and my rice is already cooked because i usually cook it for three days at a time more or less and the other meals are a bit easier which you will see that can actually be put on the fly kind of like this morning obviously i just soaked the oats the night before but it was just yogurt and berries so i'm just going to cook that up i'm going to pop the potatoes on the boil and then i'm going to put them in the air fryer then when i'm about to eat the meal to crisp them up and i'm going to cook my veg so mushrooms and peppers will go on the pan 
and beans will go into the microwave with some boiling water and that'll be a lot of the staples for today prepped alongside the rice I already have and the chicken I already have. Once I'm done with that I'm going to eat my pre-workout meal just because I do need a bit of time to digest it. I'm also going to make my intra workout drink and I'm gonna go get ready for the gym to hit some heavy ass legs today. So I'll bring you through exactly what I have while I train because it's kind of a part of the meal plan when you think about it. Um, so it's yeah, six meals, high day plus intra workout nutrition as well, which I will bring you through in a little while. I just need to get that cooked, need to get myself together so I can actually train at a bit of an earlier time this week. Don't mind the game in the background. My boyfriend has zero consideration of me filming for YouTube and turning down first. and turning down the volume. I know the kitchen's a little loud at the moment. I have the air fryer on, I have the hob on, and the washing machine because the washing machine's in the kitchen. Um, but I just wanted to show you what I mean by kind of prepping for a couple of days at a time. So here I have rice. I've already taken a portion out of it, but this is this was three days worth of rice. So I have it in Tupperware. I know exactly how much the Tupperware weighs. So I know how much raw weight rice is in there. I can then weigh just cooked, take away the weight of the box and divide it up um, into my portions. And I usually just use a little post to put inside. Um, same with the chicken. I know exactly how much is in there. I know how much the Tupperware wears. I know how much raw weight is in there and I can just do the maths. So that just makes life much easier. So that's what I advise to a lot of my clients, especially for the weekends where they tend to fall off track the most or struggle to stay on track. Prep your staples prep your carbs your potatoes your rice prep your proteins prep your veg have it in the fridge and you have all the components to put a meal together um so obviously when you have food cooked in the fridge you're not going to want to throw it out and utilize that food so that's what i do just to make my weekends easier as well because they are the busiest when it comes to client work and i can't be spending hours in the kitchen making my food so so yeah but as you see so my pre-workout that kind of gives away will be chicken rice with a few extra components and and yeah, I'm just gonna wait for everything to cook first before making my food because I need to keep an eye on it. Okay, that's better. You can see my washing in the background. Amazing. Anyway, so I've got my scale here and my bottle and a funnel because everything is just going to go into the bottle. Intra workout nutrition. First of all, we're going to start with two staples, which is glutamine and Creatine. By the way, this creatine in candy bubblegum from Naughty Boy, savage. Even though I can't taste it very well with everything that's in there, I tried it by itself and it was amazing. So we're going five grams of creatine. I also have five grams in the morning every day, plus an extra five grams in intro workout. Same with glutamine, I have 15 grams in the mornings, in my morning drink, and then I have another 10 grams in my intro workout. So going from 10 grams a day to 25, it's definitely helped. Um, then we are going into an absolute staple, which is intra-workout carbohydrates. With the length of my sessions, with the intensity of my sessions, I would not be able to push through the whole session whilst maintaining performance on just my pre-workout meal, especially since it is a little bit on the heavier side. Um, in terms of volume, I give it about an hour to digest before I go into training. So obviously given an hour since I've eaten, then going into a two hour session, that's three hours with high intensity, it's just not enough. So we are going 20 grams of carbohydrates. So 20 grams of powder is pretty much 20 grams of carbs in trap workout. And I will start sipping on it about three exercises in, um, then usually chug before my bigger lifts and aim to have it done before the last exercise. These are from Applied Nutrition um, and they are in Orange Burst flavor. So I've been using them before. They digest quite well. Trained by JP MPS Max in sunny orange flavor, kind of like um, a Capri Sun. So everything's kind of pretty much orange. So it all goes together well. What this is, this is kind of like an EAA blend, but not just an EAA blend. So obviously it has the nine um, EAAs, but it also has hydrolyzed whey protein. Why am I drinking protein intra workout? Um, in terms of my nutrition and meal timing, I aim to have my meals about three hours apart, two to three. So obviously eating my pre, going into training, that's about three hours total before I warm up, before I cool down, before I go to the gym, before I come back from the gym. That could be well over four hours without a protein hit. This is why we implement a serving of protein 
during my workout and yes this is calculated into my macros and 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 yeah so this is also why even though my protein intake is so so high because it is around the 180 gram mark which is very high for me i used to really struggle on the side of digestion having so much protein i could never go above 130 but this is because i was having larger portions and they were more spread so obviously i wasn't getting a regular protein hit but it was also just a lot for the stomach to digest at the same time so every two to three hours we are getting in a protein serving and i haven't had any side effects from that and if anything it obviously does help intra-workout as well so yeah 22 grams of this to be exact 20 grams of cyclodextrin 5 grams creatine 10 grams glutamine in through my funnel with a liter of water and that pushes me through the session very very nicely but this is considered a meal so it is part of it and then for i'm going to make my pre-workout meal now as well when i finish this so this is going to go sorry this is going to go into the fridge or freezer if i have space in there because you saw the amount of fruit i have um so i don't know if there's any space left in there um but if not it's just going to go in the fridge i might throw a few ice cubes in there just so it's nice and cool for the session the sun is shining the gym has no air con so i do imagine it's going to be quite warm in there today so i'm definitely going to need something nice and cold <coughs> alongside this i do usually go through a two liter bottle of water as well in training it's really really important to drink around your training window as well not just um around the days and meals you want to be hydrated going to your workout just like you want to be fueled with food so in terms of my pre i already kind of have it half made a whole 85 grams of jasmine rice with pink salt and cinnamon and i'm on 10 grams of salt a day more or less um i don't weigh my salts just because um i know how many grinds of my salt grinder is a gram so that's what i do um but i usually put an extra gram in into this meal so i don't spread it like two grams per meal i'll usually have a bit less salt in like my sweet meals and have more salt pre and post workout um just to help the pumps so we have 85 grams of rice, raw weight, everything's raw weight by the way. We have 60 grams of chicken or 100 grams of prawn, but I don't fancy eating prawns before training. So I have 60 grams of chicken breast just in the air fryer with some seasoning. Can't even remember what seasoning I used. As I said, I prepped in bulk. With that, we are supposed to be having 100 grams of blueberries. But I'm going to be honest, like it's week three now on plan and the high days are still a little bit difficult and I just feel like 100 grams of blueberries is just too much volume going into that session. I feel bloated, I feel heavy and that's not how I want to feel going into training. So calculating it macro wise, macro matching it, it's 38 grams of banana to be exact. So that's what I do and it's been digesting really, really well. And then we are going in with 20 grams of um, nut butter. One more thing. Speaking of high quality supplements, there is a supplement I take with my pre-workout meal just again to help the absorption of the carbohydrates because it is a high carbohydrate meal. So I'm going in with Trained by JP in Shore. By the way, I get all of these supplements on my core supplements. You can use code Olivia at checkout to save yourself a bit of money. I don't get anything from it, but the guys are good. Next day delivery and they stock all the products that I would have to import from the UK and pay taxes. This way I don't. Um, so the guys are definitely worth checking out. Um, but yeah, Train by JP in short, it is a GDA. So glucose disposal agent, again, shifting the carbohydrates um, where you want them and it's berberine based which i have taken berberine in the past um but now i can just take this and have everything in one pill so it's just a pill i also take it with my first meal of the day and my last meal of the day so i do take two to three pills a day depending whether it's training or non-training beautiful but look at the size of that meal this is why i need at least an hour to digest this and here we have bodybuilder number two with his typical cream of rice. How much cream of rice? 100. 100 cream of rice, 100 berries? Yeah. 30 whey. 30 whey. 20 nut butter. 20 nut butter. So why do we have fats pre-workout, not post-workout? With the pre-workout meal, you want it to digest quick, but you don't want it to digest too quick because you want the energy from the meal to be released during your workout. Whereas post-workout, when you're so depleted of glycogen, and obviously you're hungry, you want those carbs to be digested much quicker. So you'll see that in my post-workout meal, 
there will be no fats and there's two more meals actually that have no fat so we don't have a super high fat approach with me anymore um mainly because like there's enough fats in the diet but on top of that i am taking high quality fish oils which also provide me with about 10 grams of fat per day so even though there's only 40 grams on my meal plan technically i am having about 50 grams of fat which is a very optimal spot for me to be in but enough with the boring stuff in with the good stuff and i'm actually excited for legs today all right gym fit is on i'm going a little bit riskier today i've got a don't know if you can see one piece got a one piece on and i'm just going to tie this around my waist because off season <laughs> Uh, it's probably gonna come off though when I'm actually training because as I said I've just been getting locked into my sessions and I do not care. We are focused Ready to go into today's session ready to finish the week strong It's quite a long session quite a demanding session uh, I might catch up with you after I, I will definitely show me my post-workout meal So I'll definitely be catching up with you after training um, but yeah, I am going to come back home and actually make my post today because I have the time. Sometimes I bring it with me, sometimes I don't, depending on the day. Today we have time. Most of my work is kind of ticked off, all the essential work. I have a bit more admin to do and stuff like that and client calls, so I'll be doing that towards the evening. Um, but like the majority of the actual work work is, is ticked off for today already, so we can really focus into the session. And that's what I do. I cannot go training if the majority of my client work is not done. Because I... What a session that was. Ooh, yes, it was. It was quite the session. Very happy with how it went. Um, I was definitely in a good mindset going in, which definitely helped for the rest of the session. Um, one hour in, I was only finishing exercise number three, which is quite typical for this session. Um, I'm so, so happy with certain exercises today. RDLs literally never felt better. So I'm just about to send some clips to my coach because I send him two clips per session and then Kuba's usually quite quick with getting back with feedback. Um, he's massively helped me with RDLs in the last couple of two weeks. Um, they've definitely improved a lot and weight went up as well on them today, which I'm so happy with. I'll probably post it on my Instagram, so head over there. Name on screen. I'm actually a bit behind on meals, which is pretty typical for me on a Saturday. I still really, really struggle with timing my meals at the weekend because I get so caught up in client work. Like during the week, I have set breaks at work. I eat at six o'clock before I leave the house and then I have a break just before nine o'clock, half 12. I finish work just before three, so I have my pre. My post is usually about 6.30 and then 8.30 for my last meal. But at the weekend, it's completely all over the place because, as I said, I just get so caught up in client work that I don't eat on time. So it's two o'clock and I'm only making meal three, so I'll probably eat my next meal soon after my post because if there's any time you want to be eating your meals closer together rather than spacing them two to three hours, would be your post-workout nutrition because that meal just digests so quick and there's no fats in that meal to slow down the digestion of that meal. So I'm usually okay to eat again in about an hour, which is fine. So then I can catch up on meals and then have my last two meals about 6 and 8.30. I still have a couple of steps to catch up on. I still have 3,000 steps to do and it just started lashing again. But it is supposed to clear up around 6 o'clock. So I'll probably aim to get out for another walk then. And I do have a bit of meal prep to do for work tomorrow. So I will be doing that as well. But first we're going to make our post-workout meal. And that is just literally going to be cream of rice, whey isolate and strawberries. So I'm going to put that together. I will show you what brands of everything I use now. I don't have the bag of the cream of rice right now because it comes in a bag. It's a C&P if you want to look it up. It's the C&P caramel biscuit but it's in a bag and we had an empty tub after john's naughty boy so we just transferred it in so that's actually cream of rice so we're going 100 grams on a leg day and um, normally it's 75 on upper a whole 100 grams on a leg day which is much needed after that session with that we are going to go in with 30 grams of whey isolate from train by jp isolates only in this house for me anyway highest quality of protein easy to digest even if you are sensitive to dairy 
you shouldn't have a problem with a good quality isolate and train by jp is definitely the one again get this on my court as well and 150 grams of strawberries so i'm probably going to go again frozen and fresh just a bit of a mixture although i love frozen fruit with my post-workout meal because my cream rice is usually boiling and i am actually going to show you how i make cream rice so what you're going to need is boiling water which i'm going to boil in a second and turn off the camera because it's loud as fuck um, you're going to need a nice big bowl in which you can actually mix so i'm going to take a ramen bowl we love our ramen bowls for cream rice because they're absolutely huge and you're going to need a whisk i love how everything's on hand john had cream rice pre-workout so everything we need to make it is on hand so a whisk so what you're going to do is you're going to weigh up now I know some people do water first and cream of rice after and they get the perfect ratios. I don't do that. I eyeball it until it's perfect. So I'm going to go 100 grams of cream of rice in there. I'm going to pour in boiling water until it's really watery. I'm going to whisk it until it thickens up a little bit. And I'm going to pop it in the microwave for about 40 seconds to a minute. Check on it. See if it's fluffy enough. See if it needs more water. Uh, if it needs more water, more water. Whisk it again. Back in and that's it. And then with whey, I usually just make whey paste. And I find the best ratio is, if you're having it straight away, let's say 30 whey, 30 water. If you are having it later in the day, let's say you're prepping it, I would make it more watery and put it in the fridge and it turns into like a mousse. I might make that for my last meal today. So I'll make it a bit earlier and pop it in the fridge. Um, sometimes what works as well, if you forget to make it and you still want it that way, do your whey paste first, put it in the freezer and then just make the rest of your meal. And by the time you take it out, it's nice and Thick. but today we're just gonna make it on the fly because I didn't prep it beforehand so we're gonna go a hundred grams of core so yeah as I said this is the CNP um, caramel biscuit I didn't actually buy this one I'm gonna be honest I was working at a PCA Ireland show um, a few months back I was working backstage as a posing coach uh, this is my plug, by the way, if you're looking for a posing coach, reach out. Um, and yeah, and CMP is the new, not 101, not 99. I'm very specific, 100. Um, and CMP is the new sponsor for PCA this year, so they had a load. So they had a load of cream rices backstage for athletes, and since John and I were working at that show for free, um, as in we didn't get paid they were very kind and gave us a box of six um, six bags, two kilo bags of cream of rice so yeah, so yeah, 30 whey so I'm actually going to make the whey first before I make the cream of rice and I am going to pop it into the fridge 30 so as I said we're going 30 and then roughly 30 water so let me bring you over to the sink the sink is there by the way i really need to work on a setup here i'm still figuring this apartment out i told you in the last vlog we just moved here a couple of months back and i haven't filmed in this apartment yet um obviously because i took the massive break from youtube did he get on the camera did you get in the camera did you get in the camera he makes the editing so hard um, so yeah, I haven't filmed properly in this apartment just yet and I'm still figuring it out and I'm actually waiting on a new tripod as well that will actually have an attachment for my camera so I will obviously be able to plop you somewhere when I'm cooking and stuff. You know, the first thing he does when we get home is he just throws his shirt off. Because I'm a streaker. Uh, <laughs> stripper. Um, it's funny. Love it. It's actually funny because we have a big window over there in the living room. I would show you, but it's actually covered with um, everything we put in the wash today because the weather's nice. So obviously we washed all the sheets and everything like you do on a Saturday. I washed all the sheets. Um, like, sure. like, like you do on a Saturday when the weather's nice, but then it starts raining. So everything's in the middle of the living room. Um, but we have a big mir mirror. I always confuse the word mirror and window and I don't know why. Um, but we have a big window there. And one time... John was watching TV, obviously with his shirt off, and he just got a message from his sister telling him to put his shirt on. Any comments on that? Fake news. Fake news. Anyway, so I went 30 whey and 30 water, and this is what we're working with. As I said, still figuring this out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit more water. 
I'm going to make it a little bit more watery and I'm going to put it in the freezer while I make the rest of my meal. So I'm going to boil the kettle and turn you off for a second. As I said, it's just very loud. Delicious. But I don't know if I mentioned it's the chocolate, chocolate caramel flavor, which is Snickers. It's good, but it's not my favorite. Nothing will ever beat white chocolate hazelnut. Ever. So I'm going to try and do it in a way that you can see the bowl and not me. Because with this setup, you won't be able to see both. So we've got 100 grams of caramel rice, which looks like absolutely nothing right now. We are going to pour in boiling water. Now I go a bit of boiling, a bit of cold. So I'm going to mix it straight away actually. Got a bit of cold from the tap. And as you can see, it's very runny right now. So we're going to go in with the whisk. We're going to give it a nice and proper whisk. And the good thing about cream of rice is it's going to be as voluminous as you make it. If you want it voluminous, you put in a load of water. If you want less voluminous, you put in less water. So this is the consistency now. As you can see, it's very runny. I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's very runny. So we're going to pop it in the microwave for about 40 seconds. And it should thicken up nicely. I'm just going to go like this. We're going to check on it in about 40 seconds again and see if it needs any more microwave time. I'm going to be honest, this is not my favorite cream of rice when it comes to consistency. It's really good. Um, but obviously we have six tubs of the same flavor, so I am getting a little bored of it. So I am going to get a new one soon because I'll be out of weight in a while. My favorite is Train by JP. Like, I'm not sponsored by Train by JP. Trust me, I'd love to be, but I'm not. But I do literally buy most of my supplements from them. Like my whey, my cream of rice, and all of my health subs, like healthcare and vital support, omegas, insure, digest pharma pro, you name it. Most of them are from Jane by JP because they're just so good. Like the quality is insane. And my coach actually does work quite closely with them. So if you do guys want a discount code, if you're in the UK, you can use Kuba. Kuba 10, I think it is. And use his code. Um, I just ordered my core because as I said, I avoid import taxes that way. Um, because when you start whisking it like this in a smaller bowl, it's just going to go everywhere. So it needs just a little bit more time. So we're going to go in for another 20 seconds. Mainly structure those kind of carbs around training. So rice before training, cream of rice after training, because you want those meals to digest quickly. Um, obviously before training, needs another 20 seconds. Um, before training, obviously to give you that energy boost quickly. And then post-workout to, to replenish those glycogen stores quickly. So I'm just going to put the meal together, plop the whey paste on top. I'm going to show you and then I'm going to put you away for a little while while I'm meal prep because you're about to die. So I need to charge you up before I show you the next three meals. And my tongue, I can't speak after training, not after this session. I'm very sorry. So you've got cream of rice, nice and thick. We are going to go in with the frozen strawberries. I'm literally, sometimes I cut them up. Today, I'm literally not bothered. So that's 150 grams of strawberries. I'm going to take the whey paste out of the freezer. So again, this will cool it down too. So you see the consistency here. Very nice. And I'm just going to drizzle that on top. And then what I do is I don't put it all in because obviously I'm gonna eat the top of the cream rice first with the berries and the whey and then I'm left with just cream rice that's still really hot. So I save the, like half of the whey paste to eat it a bit later when I've eaten all the toppings. Delicious, cream of rice, whey paste, strawberries, and I don't know. Definitely in my comfy era right now, meal prepping, which I spend half my life doing these days. If you can hear music, there is a massive festival going on in the airport that we live right across from. It's a closed airport pretty much. It's only for like small private planes. Um, so it's fairly quiet here, but there has been like a summer festival on and I've been falling asleep to concerts. Quite the setup we've got here. See, this is what I mean. Um, so I've got my meals prepped for tomorrow. I've got my breakfast meal. I've got meal two for tomorrow for work. Then that's when I come back. Got my yogurt weighed out for tomorrow. Cooked some extra chicken. Cooked some extra rice that's still kind of soaking up the rest of the water and i'm about to put together meal number four so i cooked my potatoes earlier today which you would have seen i cooked some for tomorrow and for today so i'm going to take half of this there's 500 grams in there so one of my meals is 300 one is 200 so i'm just going to divide it by two and have 250 in each it just makes my life easier um, so 250 potato we're going to go with 100 grams of five percent steak mince which again 
batch cooked. As you can see, I had 400 grams in there. Took out 100 for tomorrow. Gonna take out another 100 for this meal. And that still leaves me for, for two more meals, so the next two days. I also cooked a veg in a batch for today and tomorrow, so I've already divided up tomorrow's. And that's what I'm working with to spread between two of my next meals. And then with this, I'm going to have 100 grams, ignore the vape. I'm going to have 100 grams of berries. I got some fresh blueberries and I got some frozen mix. And I just wanted to show you these boxes. They're airtight containers. And my fruit has been lasting a whole week in this. We're just probably going to pop the beef and the veg in the microwave because it was freshly cooked this morning. But I'm going to throw the potatoes. So I pre-boiled the potatoes, as you would have seen. And then I throw them into the air fryer for about 10 to 10 to 15 minutes, depending how big I chop them up. And normally I go with like a chip seasoning that I got at Tesco. But yesterday, Little had the knockoff Nando's Perry Salt. So I'm actually going to go in with this today on top of my potatoes in the air fryer, hoping they crisp up. By the way, if you're ever wondering what potatoes I use, always and forever. By the way, ignore these, they're for my morning walks. Um, always and forever team baby potato even if it takes me longer to chop them up because they're so much smaller team baby potato for the win and they're very good for the air fryer so yeah as you would have seen there is fruit with this meal there's also going to be fruit with my next savory meal so when i sit down to eat this meal i will tell you why we're doing what we're doing i just heard the air fryer ding so let's see beautiful but I forgot to put the rest of my meal in the microwave. Yeah, this setup is not bad, but when I get my tripod, you'll actually be able to watch me cook, which is gonna be good. I'll probably do another meal prep video as well, because meal prep has changed drastically since I last did the meal prep video. So I will definitely do that. We've got our beef. We got beef, we got a bit of green beans, we got some mushrooms and peppers. So I think it's 50 grams of veg per meal today. So we don't have a lot of veg in my meals, today anyway, um, just on high days because it's such a high day of food and volume and volume is already quite high from actual food sources like carbs. So obviously we don't want to be adding too much volume in, in veg and having too much fiber as well. Like I've, I have 250 grams of potato here and I have that twice today. Um, so that's already a lot of fiber. I had oats in the morning and then obviously all the fruit I'm having with my meals. Um, I don't think we really need much more fiber from veg. And obviously, yes, veg will provide you with a lot of my micronutrients. I need ketchup. Sugar-free ketchup, so those and everything. Um, what was I saying? Obviously, it will provide you with a lot of micronutrients. But I'm getting a lot of micronutrients from all the fruit. But also, I do take a scoop of greens every single morning. Um, so obviously I am hitting all my macro and my micro nutrient targets. I can't speak. That last session really finished me. But um, just I'm going to take my meal to the table and I'm going to sit down. And I'm just going to tell you why I'm having so much fruit with my meals. Let me just grab my fruit. And yes, I have it in two separate little bowls because one's frozen and one is fresh because I had to use up some bloobs. Ignore. You can see me properly. Ignore him. He's still shirtless. Um, can you bring me a fork? I forgot four. And my ketchup. So why are we having so much fruit with my meals? So first of all, when I came to Cuba, I have been under eating for... I have been under eating for quite some time. Um, my diet was very much lacking fiber. And I was I was always hungry. I was very food focused, which obviously didn't always lead me in the right direction. Um, so Cuba's focus was, we were thinking of going into a diet first to tidy up before we went to an improvement phase, but we kind of both agreed, obviously it was his kind of call, but we agreed that I am not in a position mentally to be cutting right now because I'm just out of a diet a couple of weeks ago um, before the holiday and I just I wasn't ready to go back into a diet even though I told him like if that's what you want me to do I will but I wasn't ready so he he said it straight up he was like we need to fix your relationship with food and hence why we're eating so much fruit because volume 
he wants me feeling full and for the first two weeks i really really struggled like it was actually too much food for me which just shows when you're actually getting your calories in from whole foods volume is a lot lot higher and it can actually be hard to put all that food down even for somebody who thinks they can eat a lot uh, another reason you'll find me having a lot of fruit in my savory meals not just my sweet meals which i know makes no sense to a lot of people uh, you see a lot of people eating pineapple with their meals which is fair because obviously it has the the digestive enzyme that kind of releases when you eat protein especially but fructose let me talk, talk about fructose a lot of people think it just converts to sugar in your body no not necessarily when you pair fructose from fruit with glucose which is released from other carbohydrates like potato rice bread all of those it actually helps your body uptake the carbohydrates and utilize them so when you think about it it's like a natural gda um so that's kind of been our approach but also just for just for fullness for volume and like i'm actually feeling full after all of my meals now it is settling i'm not overly full anymore i'm actually very happy with how my stomach is handling all of this um especially the lack of ibs flare-ups which i will talk about a bit later um but let's just say i'm eating things that i thought i can't eat because it would always cause flare-ups and now it's not but anyway i'm gonna eat my meal um let's just get a taste test of that potato let's find a crunch i didn't air fry them enough no, not at all. No, I'll air fry the next ones a bit more. I just, want, like I just wanted to get this meal in because I'm a bit behind. Like, it is four o'clock on the dot and I still have two meals after this, so. Mine are always perfect. Mmm. Oh, the seasoning's good. It doesn't sound satisfying at all. Mm. There's no crunch. Yeah, but they're still really good because they're baby potatoes. They're not dry. Um, a beef looks a bit like cat food, though. You're cooking looks like cat food very well, to be honest. He insults me a lot. Off camera, she insults me a lot. <laughs> Off camera, I insult him a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to leave this here because we have two meals to go and I have a feeling this video is wrong already. With all my chat and shit. Anything to add? Nothing to add. Okay, so I will catch you at meal number four. Which won't be crazy exciting, it'll be almost identical to this. So I'll probably just show it to you made and hopefully I'll get my potatoes more crispy next time. It's a little while later, we're just back from a walk and I've got my next meal which I'm just going to show it to you because it's pretty much nearly the exact same as my last meal. So again, we've got 250 grams of potato, 50 grams of veg. This time we have 100 grams of chicken nut beef and instead of berries, we've got 100 grams of pineapple so yeah very very similar same seasoning and everything same chicken so yeah i just thought i'd show you this meal because it is a full day of eating but i will catch you at my last meal of the day i've got the ring light set up in front of me because i need to get everything ready for check-in tomorrow i'll show you what i got for my check-ins i got a big backdrop I got a big backdrop my heels and bikini all ready for the morning and the ring light because I have to work overtime tomorrow at work. So I'm working at six o'clock in the morning and I need to knock out a bit of steps beforehand and do my check-in. So everything needs to be set up for me. Same with my supplements. Everything's already weighed out in a cup ready. Just pour water into it in the morning. And I just realized I forgot to take apple cider vinegar out because I have 20 mils of it every morning. Um, but I'm making my last meal. Which I'm not going to dive too deep into because guess what it is? This gives it away. It's cream of rice. Um, half the portion that I had earlier. It's uh, 50 grams. So I've cream of rice my last meal every night actually. Um, and I've still been loving it. But this is why I'm starting to get bored of the flavour. Because I have it twice a day on training days. And once a day on rest day. So this is why I'm getting a little bit tired of it. Um... Just the flavour, not the cream of rice itself, just the flavour. So I think once I get paid <laughs> next week, I might get another one. It's been a bit, a bit of a rough day today with a bit of, bit of issues. Business not doing too good, but listen, one of those times we just gotta stay consistent, stay hardworking and disciplined and committed 
to the process and everything will work out just like my own bodybuilding journey. You know, sometimes clients come, sometimes clients go and that's not something we have control over. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, good day overall to be honest. Training went great, food went down a treat today, didn't struggle at all. My battery is on the low side again for some reason, I need a new battery. So I'm just going to put it together and show you the finished product. But it's 50 crema rice, 150 strawberries, and I mixed a bit of uh, raspberries in there as well. We've got 30 grams of whey again, just like last time, whey paste, it's in the fridge. I've got 20 grams of nut butter in this meal, so I'm probably going to do half almond, half peanut. And this is why I've been saving my 100 grams of yogurt, because I'm just going to put a nice big 100 gram dollop on top of the creme rice. So I'm gonna put it together, show it to you, and then close out the vlog. I was gonna show it to you before I ruin it with whey paste. So here we have it. I have to say it looks very aesthetically pleasing with the yogurt in there. That's something I think I'll be doing going forward just on high days, because the 300 grams of yogurt with the oats is just a bit too much in the morning, especially before work. It just has me feeling a bit too heavy. Again, I'm just going to save some of the whey paste to have when I eat the top off. I just have a piece of hair in there. Right. Um, but yeah, so we got 50 grams of creme rice, 150 berries, 20 grams of nut butter, and 100 grams of my yogurt from the morning. And then I have some fruit that didn't fit and some whey paste that didn't fit. So it's kind of like a two course meal. But anyway, so this will conclude the full day of eating today. First one back. Uh, I know I might be a bit rusty, but hey, it'll only get better from here. So just as a reference, totals for today. Now remember today's a high day. So I have two of those a week. They're the highest calorie days of the week. But we are sitting at 2,712 calories. It's the most I've ever eaten. Now my average during the week is probably two, four, two, five, um, because rest day food is much lower, so it kind of balances that out, and I do have three rest days. But it is the highest food I've ever been on, going from four meals to six, eating things like dairy, beef, which never sat with me before, suddenly they do. Um, how? I don't know, ask Cuba. Could be the way my meals are structured, could be the frequency of the meals, could be pairing fruit with meals, could be anything. Um, so that's definitely something that I'm going to keep kind of monitoring and see see what really made this happen. But anyway, so yeah, and then we've got 189 grams of protein, 389 grams of carbs, which is more than I've eaten in any of my carb, carb ups pre-stage. And then 40 grams of fat plus obviously what I get from my fish oils. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, there's definitely plenty more to come. Uh, we'll definitely do a rest day as well. Definitely do a medium day too, just to show you kind of everything. Obviously if anything changes, I will definitely do another full day of eating. And, and yeah, so let me know what you want to see in the next video. I'm thinking of either my supplement routine and my morning routine. Or maybe actually bring you through like a normal day in my normal work life um, whilst balancing being a bodybuilder and being a coach and posing coach. Um, so that could definitely be an interesting video. Um, but I'm going to leave this for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos and help me out a little bit. Um, comment, share with a friend and make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me there. And I shall see you in the next one. Ciao!